Alright guys, so maybe sleeping in my lap so I'm going to be a little bit quiet or talk a little bit softer. But I'm going to give you an update on the cloth diapering. I'm going to put in a few clips. I had a horrific happening during talk that right now I'm going to put that clip in as well um I don't want to call it perfect but it, 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 it got real yeah it got real so yeah we'll put that clip in alright guys this is one of those moments when I got a vlog like so a while ago we had our first real well since having the baby real disaster of a pool not an explosion or anything yeah not an explosion or anything i don't know if the, the angle was so good but not an explosion or anything but it was like he had a poo um for two days like good poo he just had spotting and stuff like he was a little bit binded up or whatever so i gave him banana this morning and he pooed that nappy was a disaster like this is a moment that I've been dreading like how am I going to clean that nappy like if I could put in pictures I would but it's gonna be horrendous but these are moments when I think um can I really do this can I really do cloth diapering like it's no joke when you see all that poo mashed up in there like Wow, like I tip my hats off to all the, all the, all the cloth diapering moms. Like, no joke, cloth diapering is a task. Like, but I'm gonna continue because I'm I loving the rewards. I can use the money that I'll be paying on diapers to buy other stuff. Like, some person would stop would thought would be unnecessary but I can't spend the extra because I'm not paying as much and I'm helping the environment as also so like since he's been born we've only had like two full box of huggies or stuff like that pampers pampers are ugly like not two lies four apart from when he was newborn I'm talking since I've been called that for like four and that lasts me a long time like because i use it on the road i don't use it i don't use cloth diaper only i use cloth that i use regular diaper disposables on the road because i'm not going to deal with the cloth diaper on the road because he can be a little bit twisting turning at, at this stage so it kind of more difficult unless i get a lot more where I, where i don't have to do the I don't have to do the nappies and the covers but at this stage I just do it at home where it's easier but god ugh, those poos I got for gloves and soaking or else I would not be able to do this like I'm I'm low-key a germaphobe so it's kind of like cringing to deal and touch this the textures of poo and stuff but I will continue and help the environment and help daddy's pockets. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it's a moment. Woo! The poopy diaper! Um, but yeah, cloth diapering has been good. I've been seeing the, the good outcome of it. Like, as I said in the other video, I think I said it in one of my videos. Um, I use a lot less diapers than the average per parent. Like, for example, some parents just change the baby, change the babies four times a day at this stage at eight, at seven months, they're old, and you should actually change them more. But they do it because they know it goes slow, as Jamaicans would have said, it goes slow. Um, but for me, I can change him as often as he needs to especially because he will get the outer part will get wet because they can leak in their tooth um but i'm happy i can change him as often as he needs to be so he won't get any rash he doesn't he hasn't gotten any rash he won't get any um any kind of skin 
reaction to the process because like I, we literally just put him in like when we're home probably just one time i put him in a disposable diaper and that's like if he needs to change within the five or five liter cup period which is generally um when we're in bed still me and him so i'm a little bit sleepy he's a he's sleepy so i just want to hurry up and get it over with but i've been working on that so i don't have to do that either way so like if we're home some days we don't use any disposable at all um we use disposables on the road that's for sure because it's easier um faster and quicker um so yeah i updated my stash most of them are on the line right now like honestly but i got the covers which are these and um so, and i got more pockets more pocket diapers these didn't come with any insert i bought just the the, the back alone and then the liners so to go with that i've got these um these are by Gerber. They are, I don't know if I showed it in the last year, I don't think so. These are, um, what do you call it? Cloth diaper prefolds, as they would call it. They're big. I'm not going to unfold it because I think I fold it with me. I'm not eating it. You know what? Let me, let me show you guys that it's. Um, I folded it like this. So, this is a regular cloth nappy. Cloth that you see in Jamaica, Naki. and then I fold it in. These are for night time, the thick ones are for night time, and in the day I use just the nappy along with the cover. So, yeah, I'm all over the place. So, let me go back to the liners. So, the liners are what I generally use in the day. You can tend to use one, not one, two a day depending on stool, defecation, voodoo, poo poo, yeah. Um, so with the liner, you can just wipe and reuse if it is just pee. So when we pee in it, I take out the, the insert, whether I'm using the pre-fold or the nappy. I generally use the nappies with these. I don't fold them like a pre-fold or, um, I'll try and oh, show you This is generally on the shelf over there. I'll sh oh. Yeah, it's generally on the shelf. So this is what I do. Well, I change up a little. I stuff the nighttime diapers. These are the nighttime ones. So they're double stuffed. So they have in the liners and one of the pre-folds. So I did that this time around. I generally have them single not filled for daily use but i decided to do it this way so it's easier for night time and I, then i have these to grab and use during the day so this is the cover without any inserts and then i have the nappies folded so i said to you guys i would show you how i fold the nappies i'm going to put on dj and show you guys So with the nappy, it's folded like this, in like a triangle thing like, I go come closer and do it from scratch so you can see it, but I will show you how I put it on him now. So I take the baby, lay it down with the insert underneath, him have on one now, actually it's supposed to be changing but you know I can't show his parts on. On his part on YouTube, that's a little baby. I'm not a baby in the room, so yeah. So I take the baby, lay him down. If he'll stay down, he's at that stage. Pull up the, the center, fold the, the lips or the wings, pin here with a pin. 
and close up the diaper the cover um with the one the, the pocket diapers it's a lot easier because i can either do it like this or i can put one of the pre-folds or the insert and just put it on um so yeah you have different options with the different styles of cloth diapers. all right guys so these are the nappies this is the pre-fold the gerb of pre-folds uh, so you can use it like this and wrap them up as they put on their their thing so you can actually do it like this but how I use it is I fold them like this and then insert them in the in the pockets pocket diapers I also like would open up the back end fold it like this and put it in the covers so with the covers I'll do it like this so this is the back like this open it up a little put the baby in as, as I was saying I would take the pre-folds like this put it in here put the baby here with the boys their water load is at the front so I do this fold here to get most of the water and then here I would catch the stool um so here and then clean it up and then that would be it for the pre-folds with the nappy I will do a fold like this this is the regular fold this is what when I decide I want to put it in the in the pocket diaper in the pocket diaper just do a simple fold like this but when i'm doing putting it in the covers do a fold like this so you do one half full another half full and then you take two ends hold them pull to the side and you get something like this flip it over and then do this do a third fold here and then that is it so you'd fold it up over over pin here and it's on the baby very simple very easy great for boys because the front load again will take majority of the water so you can even do a fold if it's long enough so it can soak up majority of the water so that is my little routine for my diaper so you can get a better look at it this is the covers covers have no inside then you have the pocket diapers uh, with the pockets where you put the diaper in so i generally use nappies with these you just change them suppose that the nappy i put the insert and put the down back but you know if you put in there there's no take everything and throw in the pail we ain't gonna do the food right away. Um, which is something we need to um, I, I guess I need to talk about how I need the food. <sighs> that's another that's another century. But yeah, I love the this because it's less time, less effort. No more less time. It it's it's more tedious, but is it as in I don't have to wash too much of this. I just wash the napping and that's it. Uh, with the insert, I love the insert. If I was supposed to get more and just have a cloth diaper and stash, I'd get the pocket diapers for like when you go in the room because I just put I insert in this, change it, put it in that bag, and then we go. So if it is that I'm supposed to expand my stash to be able to just do cloth diaper in the room, that's what I would do. I get more of these liners for the days because I only have two of these and the two cheap ones I kind of use like a liner um that that's what I, I showed in the previous vlog or video whatever um so yeah I use that easy so yeah as I was saying the liners I like for the daytime with the with the um nappy as the insert um the pocket diapers I use at night with multiple well two not multiple to um either the liner either the liner or the pre-folds or the pre 
folders and the nappy folder they like that one that I just showed you um yeah that's how I tend to use them at night time so he generally goes to bed I mean well his night time routine starts at 9 o'clock 8 30 9 o'clock there but he's, he's in the dark from 9 30 to 2 around on a good day five in the morning five six in the morning so it holds a lot when i put two inserts in um so yeah i'm planning to buy more because kids how do you call it will be in that for up to as long as three god forbid i'm hoping he gets out of the back of stage quick I'm no, I'm no, I know it's going to get rougher, but I'm, I want to expand my um, collection a little bit more so I can have more and have some more of the, what you call it, the pocket ones so I can have more inserts so I can just put on and go like, but for those days when you start moving more, you start defecate and pull more. Okay. Um, there's one um, thing that I, I want be able to do, I want to get a spray nozzle on the toilet so I can get away that has to do with the cleaning the cleaning part I need to get a handle on it to get it easier but another tip that I've done is I cut up bone tea well you can't if you have the selector size but I, I did the essential bone tea because it's a little bit cheaper so you don't have the selector size so I use this to line the the diaper, the nappies, whatever I'm putting on this bottom and I'm putting on the top diaper um, so that we can catch the stool catch the stool so it's less hassle it is a learning curve with this at this stage because he's he still is between breast stools and hard food stools so it's kind of messy still but as it gets older it should be easier with this um, but it does help because sometimes it just catch everything I just take that out and throw it away and washing is a lot easier with that um, versus having to, do, having to deal with the messy stool in the nappy itself so that's one thing that I've worked on um, I'm working on so yeah so far I'm loving it um, being a stay, -no stay at home mom it has helped cutting costs even though I have my little up and up coming we call it my businesses my little small businesses um babe is the main like, uh, breadwinner of the whole so i have to cut costs where i can so it has definitely helped with that and you know the environment is much better with less that was in the world it's like no joke i read an article that's a lot of parents out here in jamaica like even baby box started to get on the swing with cloth diapering which I thought it was phased out because I was even surprised that my dad's wife would find nappies because I thought they were phased out so yeah it's becoming a thing now because it's more cost effective like you save money on diapers because my little friend I don't know if you remember my sister in the video some videos back then um she has a baby as well and she's buying 120 diaper every two weeks like where no ma'am that's seventy thousand dollars every two weeks and that's the minimum because you know they probably do as i say probably don't change them as often as they should um so yeah yeah those are just the items that i got in the mail for baby um yeah and that's a little update that i got I have for you guys on cloth diapering. I will try and get some snippets if you didn't see before this. Um, I'll probably do another video and show you guys how I do some of my folding techniques, how I stuff the diapers and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, well, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for staying with me who are still here. Remember to, to share like subscribe comment down below like how you feel about cloth diaper like i want to know like would you have you like tell me like 
give me the tea like if you have tips if you are a cloth diaper in mom let me know down below um so yeah i'm like low-key wondering if it's if it's affecting the environment as well because producing so much cloth diaper is still mass production like so i'm i'm wondering i know that it's less um damaging than diapers because these diapers are school in the dump most of them ain't biodegradable so it will take, take years for them to um to break down but isn't it like like nowadays i see a lot of vendors and companies um doing cloth diapering yes it's up again um so yeah so so yeah i'm wondering about that so let me hear your thoughts on cloth diapering on the goodies that i got for example that straw thing i'm living for it that straw attachment i'm living for that because my bottles can be used i'm thinking i'm going to get more now so i'm going to find others that i can use maybe um what gave me the idea to look for that is the dr brown um bottles um of a girlfriend of mine um she was in the hospital with me and that's how we became mommy friends um she we had a play date and she got me one of those um it was purple yeah i love purple she didn't even know that purple is my favorite color she just got dj that and it has a straw attachment in it if you know that that bottle you know what i'm talking about so i got the idea to look for them through that and i actually found some attachments like that one specifically i can use a regular nickel but i was i saw this and i said let me try that one um so let's see let's see guys let's see um so yeah that's it for this video and this is more lovely and baby leader signing out and remember to wear the best you for the world to see all right guys bye I'm going to change me. I'm going to go copy it again, okay, baby? Yes, like, he's a breast man. He's a breast man.